So welcome, welcome back to the third segment of BFA's On The Ball Show. Uh, we've got a couple of new guests on the show, um, very familiar ones, I think. Um, for those in Cardiff or Swansea, uh, familiar faces been on before. Let me go straight to the main man himself, Jalal. So welcome, you all right? Welcome, Thanks for coming on again, yes. and uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Um, and I'm, I'm going to come straight to you, our main man and the man in the know with all things Sorry BFA cool. and CFL. Welcome back. I know you were on holiday. You were in Bangladesh as yeah, well. I was on the tour with, with FC London. FC London. Yeah. How did that go? Quickly. Excellent. It's always good with FC London. Mm -hmm. We travelled um, all over Bangladesh, I think. Half well, of Bangladesh. Name some of the places that you Bangamati, went to. Bangamati, Bandurbon, Cox Bazaar, Chittagong. Oh you know, oh never oh been to these yeah. kind of places. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it wasn't so much about football with no, these guys. No, no. Um, <laughs> we, we do, we do play football. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. We'll believe me. Uh, okay, uh, uh, listen, we've had a busy day. Yeah. BFA today. CFL, firstly, um, concluded. That's right. Give yeah. us the winners. Um, well, Premier Division. It, you know, there's no doubt about it. It's um, FC Bengals, runners up um, Aberfeldy. First Division was um, Bernardo's, well deserved, and uh, we had Shadwells as runners up. Okay. That's the first division. All right. So, with regards to CFL, um, is there uh, that's it for the winter? That's it for the winter. So um, now we move on to the summer league. Yep. That's There's a few activities. B uh, the summer league starts on the first of May. First of May. Uh, we, uh, we, we will have three leagues uh, as usual, ten in each division. Yeah. Uh, it's all getting there. If you haven't ha handed in your instalment, please get it in as soon as possible. Uh, this year, no pay, no play. So, guys, get it in there as quick Strict. as possible. <laughs> um, uh, so, summer league starts, but we've got something new. We're starting a new initiative. Uh, we're, obviously, we are, you're the main we man behind starting that. starting the um, summer league um, 11 aside Vets League. Okay. Um, it's going to be held at um, Stepney Green Grass. So, we'll have the Premiership on the 3G mm -hmm. and we'll have the Vets on the grass pitch. So, uh, looking forward to that. Um, we've got you know, almost um, seven teams confirmed. Wow. So, inshallah. Uh, this is going to be a weekly thing? Uh, every Sunday, um, you know, every Sunday from 11 to 4 o'clock, that's, that's going to be all the matches in between that. Brilliant. Um, in terms of the rulings, players? It's summer league rules. Summer so, league what is that? Four non Bengalis four on non the pitch at any one time? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you heard it here, guys. If you are interested, if you're a Vets team watching out there, we at the moment have got seven teams. I think the cap may be around 10. Uh, get in touch with Anam, get in touch with Jamal Bai, um, our general secretary as well, anyone at BFA, myself. All the information is up there already. Yep. Um, you know, everyone knows the contact details of Mark, me and Jamal Bai. Yep. Uh, we're going to be dealing with situations over there. So um, looking forward to that. How's it going to differ? We're going to have one. Well, I think. I think. Am I right in thinking we we'll only have one referee, no linos for these? Yeah, just one referee, no linos. Um, it's going to be. Uh, we're quite relaxed about the whole situation. It's not going to be. Bit of um, fun, isn't it? Yeah, a bit of fun. We're not going to, you know, roll on on and off subs. Uh, it's not going to be like strict, um, like four subs, um, like we do in the summer league. Um, so it's going to be f fairly relaxed o on the day. Okay. <coughs> All right. Um, we had a finals day at uh, Milan Stadium. Those that are in the know will know it was a great day. Um, we had the Tower Hamlets Youth League under 14s, uh, who the game was between my own FC Usmani uh, taking on Shadwell, a very good team that finished runners up in the league behind us as well. So FC Usmani were looking to do the double today. Uh, so. It was a brilliant game to be honest. Shadwell went one nil up, and then um, my lads came back in, uh, as they do, in the f usual fashion, and won two nil. But you know what? Hands, hats off to uh, Shadwell. Really gave us a good game. Um, we, I think, our boys were probably shocked as well in terms of how well they played on the day. So it was a good day, but we managed to win the game. And I, I got to say, a massive well done to my man of the match. I'm going to give it to two people, uh, Fahim, uh, for scoring the two goals, outstanding couple of goals. And uh, my centre back um, Esan was outstanding That's today. Right. So uh, very well done to the whole team, but in particular you two, you two guys. I want to give you a special mention. So well done, and everybody at Shadwell, Ashik, and your team, um, uh, commiserations. But I'm sure there's more to come from this team. Looking brilliant in your new kit as well. So uh, keep up the good work. And then we had the BFA Vets League again, uh, an uh, event organised by Enam and Jamal yeah, yourselves. That's right, yeah. uh, the s the prelims took place last week at um, Once Dead Fats, yeah. and the final was today. Tell us a bit about the final. The final was amazing. Um, the pictures are going to be on the screen in front of you as you're watching. Two established guys. teams at the Vets both teams. Um, leagues at the moment, mm -hmm. um, Bernardo's and Silly FC. Um, you know, uh, it was a great game. Um, is the results up or yeah, yeah, just yeah, just tell the results. Yeah, about um, well, well deserved from Bernardo's. Um, they won the game. Uh, score was two one. Um, so yeah, it was great. We had a good crowd out there yeah. for the youth and the vets um, final. I think everyone enjoyed it. Um, Silla FC very unlucky. 
They played really well second half. Um, but I think um, Bernardo's overall were the better team. So mm -hmm. um, the chairman was away. He was on the flight back. He was going <laughs> to get the early flight, but unfortunately, he couldn't get in time. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway. Um, There's the Bernardo's team yeah. on there. Well done to Bernardo's. Well done to Shafiq. Continues winning now, kind of uh, taking over the Vets League and running um, the Bernardo's FC. Most of you out there will recognize a lot of that. A lot of that team is made up of the exporting yeah, Bengal team as well. Yeah. So uh, the vets from back in days gone by. So a very good team there. And once again, I'm sure you're going to see the Tower Hamlets Youth League winners in FC Usmani. They've done the double. So well done to my lads. Massive congratulations. They keep winning. Uh, OK, so that is it. Um, uh, like I say, Summer League continues. We've got a couple of tournaments. Quickly just touch on the tournament we've got on the 24th, pre-Summer League. Um, pre summer league on the 24th, it's going to be at once of flats. Um, summer, uh, summer league rule applies. Um, I think we're taking the applications on at the moment as we speak. Mm. Uh, already, I think we've got a few teams already. Um, and I'm looking to one day tournament, one day tournament, looking to do another vets tournament on the same day as well. So, anyone interested, um, give us a shout. Feast of football as ever with BFA, loads going on. We've got a busy pack schedule over the next few weeks as we move into April. Um, the big one I want to touch on as well, the UK Bangladeshi Championships. Uh, we were going to do the draw today, but we're going to leave it till next Sunday. Uh, we have 12 teams confirmed. Uh, we've got nine teams from outside of London, which is um, to say the time constraints that we had. We've done a brilliant job. Uh, I know Jalal, the, the guys at Bengal Dragons and the guys in Bradford have been brilliant in sharing um, and working with us uh, as partners on this. Um, but it promises to be a great event at once then on the 10th of April. Jalal, coming to you, uh, obviously you've, you've kind of given me a lot of support in, in making this happen. Um, what are you expecting from the UK Championships in terms of how are you looking in terms of your team for the, the day, uh, the 10th of April? Yeah, on the 10th of April, I just want to see how well Bengal Dragons can compete against other Bangladeshi teams around the UK. Mm. Obviously, we've played sport in Bengal. They're a fantastic team. Uh, we're hoping to meet them in the final. Mm -hmm. Well, they're not in it because this is going to be the best teams from London, so it okay. won't be a sporting Bengal thing. This is uh, this is going to be our uh, the, the idea is that we we take the representative players teams from the BFA Summer League. So your teams are going to come up against our uh, Ponders End, which are the champions from our Premiership Premier yep. League. You're going to come against Newark, which are our cup holders. They won the BFA Summer League, another very good team. Um, Newark actually three or four, a lot of them players played against you guys, yep. so four or five of them will be playing against you. And then we've got Seoul FC as well. Um, so they came runners up in the first division. So they're the three representatives from BFA. Uh, and then we've got teams from outside, yep. um, uh, such as yourselves, from uh, obviously from Swansea and Cardiff. We've got Rochdale, we've got Leeds, we've got Bradford, uh, Cambridge, uh, to name a few. Uh, but like I say, for those that are watching and we're expecting the draw today, we've delayed it till next week because we also want to get the match programs and everything sorted for so we can have the draw uh, and give you a nice glossy uh, tool to take home with you and share with your parents and family back home. So, yeah, well tell us what you know. How are you looking forward and what you're expecting on the day? Obviously, we're interested to see how uh, how well we compete against mm. other teams around the UK. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we want to see how good our Bengal Dragon team is mm -hmm. against okay. other teams outside of London. So we know we've got Birmingham. Yeah. Uh, Luton, L L uh, Rochdale, Rochdale all them. Yeah. These are the thing is the interesting about the, the things about this is a lot of the teams that are coming from outside of London. Um, actually, they're all, a lot of them are seven-a-side players. They're yeah. not. They're, they're very similar to you. They've, they're all literally have got together for this tournament. Mm. So mm. they've never even thought about having an eleven-a-side <coughs> team before. So they've come together. It'll be the first time they're playing eleven-a-side. And uh, some of them have got sixteen, seventeen-year-old kids coming. I know my own very own Bradford boys yeah, yeah. are coming yeah. with a very young team. team yeah. So it's a new experience for them. I, um, I think it's an ideal opportunity for um, for us to uh, find a hidden gem somewhere. You mm. never know when we. Yeah. Um, for some of these boys who will be travelling from all over the UK, and um, who haven't, you know, who have never been discovered. So yeah. this is an ideal opportunity uh, for all the teams to get to know each other yeah. and the community cohesion, which will take part, and then the, they will all sort of, um, as I said, uh, integrate and and try and come up with uh, you know dif different games to play against each other at, uh, at a slightly di uh, different levels as well. Yeah, I think one thing that we've been talking about ourselves at BFA and uh, with the committee, the likes of uh, the senior members, Surat, Surat Bai and Karol Bai, Aras Bai and the guys that uh, are on the senior committee members. We've got Sporting Bengal, which is supposedly the represents the best of the Bangladeshi talent mm. in England or in London, should we say. But then we go every year to the Asian Championships, which is in Glasgow, which take the elite teams, the top eight teams from around the UK. Mm. We're talking, we're coming against Sikh Pakistani teams. We're the only Bangladeshi representative 
team that goes there and we get it's invite only the reason there's only two teams that are allowed to go straight into it the rest of the teams around the UK have to qualify so ourselves and a Pakistani team called Lan Napsa uh, now Lan New MFC go there so this year what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to select um, hopefully a few of the players from around from this tournament mm. and we're going to individually actually approach them players and if they if they want to come with the Sporting Bengal Glasgow squad to Glasgow represent Sporting Bengal in the UK Championship the final of which is played at this year it's going to be at uh, Celtic Park oh, right. so it's okay. alternate between Ibrox and Celtic mm -hmm. so Sporting Bengal have won it uh, three times I think the last time they won it was 2009 um, so it's been a while since we, we were very close last year uh, we took a very young team the emphasis is very much on the on, on the kids now mm. uh, and trying to start something new start something fresh but like I say you mentioned we, we talked about Akmal you know, hopefully we get to see him play and uh, yeah, we'll yes. uh, it'd be brilliant if we can invite him along to Glasgow and get involved in the squad uh, in the 18 man squad as well so I again it's an extra carrot for uh, for players who are coming from outside of London to hopefully get involved um, and, and, and represent the team that is hopefully going to represent the Bangladeshi community uh, around the UK. So, um, this is, uh, sorry, um, but on, on that day, I think we'll have the best Bengali players mm. in the country mm -hmm. playing that tournament. Mm. So, so you're going to take the whole Bengal Dragons team there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I all love over that the country yeah. coming from. No. So right. Okay. No, this is it's fantastic. It's a fan fantastic um, uh, opportunity, as I said, and it's yeah. a tremendous effort from from you guys yeah. to to organize something mm. like that. And it, it truly is something that will that will, no doubt, um, you know, make the whole community stand up and and see how these boys are doing. So mm. uh, we, we should all be very proud. Yeah, of, uh, definitely, do definitely. Yeah. Do we have any any team representing uh, from uh, Ireland, Northern Ireland, or or the Irish? Because it'd be good. Because obviously <coughs> you said Scotland, you had a yeah. couple of teams. Or mm. obviously England and Wales. Now we represent them. Not that we know of. Uh, It'd be good if, to if see. If you've got contacts, that would be brilliant. Okay, I'm sure. If, 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 if anybody watching, if yeah. anybody watching, mm. uh, people from no, uh, Northern Ireland or even uh, Republic of Ireland, yeah. it'd be good to see the Bangladeshi British Bangladeshi tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know, it'd be nice to yeah. get to <laughs> get, get the British Bangladeshi. You know what? That's a it's a great concept. Involved idea. So we're inviting. Yeah, well done. Okay, this is the best platform to invite. On okay. behalf of Bengal Dragons, um, we are really proud to be affiliated with yourself. Like you said, if one or two of our players can go to uh, Edinburgh with you, it'll give boys in Wales saying, oh, I want to get into the Bengal Dragons team so I can get into this team to go to mm. Scotland. So the platform you have provide, uh, given us is, is just fantastic. Brilliant. Um, you know, Izzy, I want to come to you. You mentioned that uh, Bengal Dragons, obviously, um, there's another big game coming up. Uh, you were there on the night when the first time it happened. Uh, Sporting Bengal versus Bengal Dragons and um, the rematch is on. We were <laughs> supposed due to play the game on the 3rd of April. The fixture has changed now um, and we're now we're go definitely going to play on the, the 17th, 17th of April. 17th right? of April yeah. So um, again, timing's to be confirmed, am I right? Yeah. Uh, but the date is fixed. Date's fixed. So any of the Sporting Bengal boys who are watching out there, um, I'll, you'll be hearing from me in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, what are you expecting from that game, the rematch? The first one didn't go as you would have expected. Uh, you had 101 excuses. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, come on, talk yourself up. What are you going to do now? Yeah, I mean, the first one we played in sports, and um, you know, it was a good game. Mm -hmm. We've seen the talent, obviously. And we worked a lot. The last couple of months especially, we worked hard, training weekly. And I know we're going to win. Simple as that, you know. <laughs> I love it. That's all, it. all the sporting players watching, you know. Uh, I'm going to record we're this. We're going to win this. Don't give away. He's the manager. Don't give away the technique. Okay. But yeah, but no. See, on a serious, all yeah. serious note, what can... The sporting Bengal Glasgow lads, uh, uh, we know them as the Glasgow boys. Uh, what can they expect when they come to you guys? They definitely have a mature yeah. team. Uh, the team we brought to London was quite young, but the team we have now, it's it's a mixed Absolutely. balance. It's a really good balance. Yeah. Will it be made up of a lot of the boys that went to Bangladesh? Yes, 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 yes. It, will be the, it will be the Bangladesh mm. team. It will be mm. our Bangladesh team against your Glasgow team. Okay. So From my like, experience um, playing with Bengal Dragons, the thing that like, stands out is the team spirit. Mm. We don't play for you know for individual. We play for the team. Doesn't matter who scores, mm. who like who makes the vital assist and all that. We want to win as a team, and that's what I like about Bengal Dragons. You know, that's the you know the, that's what we're trying to do. So I know that when we go and play sport, then we're going to give 110%, you know, for 90 minutes. And we'll, like I said, you know, hopefully we'll win. Okay. Uh, Jalal, I know you're going to a lot of effort in terms of organising yourself and as uh, everybody else in the background. But um, on the day, there's more than football. Um, what, what, what's the plan for the 17th? So hopefully uh, at the venue we're looking at, we're going to have a panel after the game. Hopefully Anwar Odin will be there to kick out racism. 
and Mizan from FAW will be there. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have guests from Wales and London. We'll ask questions, how do we improve football in Wales, England? How can FAW help us to mm -hmm. progress in football and go from there? We want to bring our community out to come and support uh, both teams, not just the Bengal Dragons. We want, them, we want the whole community in, in mm -hmm. South Wales to come out and uh, support the, whole, the two teams and hopefully one, uh, witness a, a wonderful spectacle uh, as a game. I was going to say, I, I'm, I'm hoping there's a lot of people <laughs> watching and we do get a crowd, mm -hmm. you know, because there's nothing worse than in playing in an empty no. stadium. No, no, no. It would be nice if you guys yeah, could. So, so we're, ex we're hoping um, to get a uh, majority of the uh, communities out there to come and support both the teams. And, um, and once the, the, the game is over, uh, and then we're planning, uh, as, a, as Jalal said, a question and answer session which will be held at a venue, mm. uh, which we have already decided. And then we'll, we'll some the, um, the community members will be there, as well as the, um, uh, the dignitaries from both clubs, mm -hmm. both teams, on the players from both teams uh, will be present there. And uh, there will be a question and answer session with Anwaruddin uh, and, and, and the kick uh, racism out of football. Uh, and many and any other questions that people might have in respect of uh, what we're hoping to achieve in, 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 in both the teams. Okay, um, also on the 24th, I know it's the same day as the tournament we're doing, so unfortunately you might not be able to put a team in, but you've got a charity tournament, um, haven't you, on, yeah. on the day? Tell us a bit more about that. And for those watching who may want to put a team in, I don't mm, know if, you're no, if there's a cap, get it out there. No, um, it's £50 per team. All money will go to uh, educate the charity Akma was running for. It's the first time Bengal Dragons are doing a fireside tournament, so everyone is welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not it's not Bengalis only. It's open to everybody. No, open, open to everybody. Open yes, to yes, everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully, we can recruit a few players from this tournament. Yeah, that's a <laughs> good idea. Uh, we are, our aim is to hit 20 teams. We have got 10 confirmed. So, mm -hmm. if you want to get a team in, you get in quickly. Okay, brilliant. Well, listen, guys, we've only got a minute left. Uh, uh, I just want to take this opportunity from 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 me uh, for myself and uh, also everybody at BFA to say thank you very much for all the work that you guys are doing. Um, over there because uh, I think from our perspective it's w we are so proud to be involved with an organization I know you're fledgling you're still relatively new but it seems like you're, you're you know you've 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 hit the floor running and you really are representing the Bangladeshi community community in, in Cardiff Swansea and Newport amazingly well and now you've got Mizan on board as well uh, and, and again Mizan thank you very much for coming you're, a, you're you know you're a flag bearer I think for everybody in Wales so Definitely. it just goes to show that there are opportunities out there for people in the BME community. So guys, uh, we're out of time. I just want to say thank you for everybody at uh, Bengal Dragons. Mm -hmm. Quickly, you've got 10 seconds. I'd like to thank, you. I thank all the sponsors from Swansea, Newport, Bridgend, Cardiff, Newport. Without your help, we couldn't have done, done the tour. And the both Sasa, they were fantastic mm -hmm. in the yep. tour. Thank you to you for giving us the platform to get our message across. I know it's, it's, it's pivotal that we, um, we have let the community know what we're doing and what we're hoping to achieve. And inshallah, with your help, we will go 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 a long way. Thank good you. stuff. Good stuff. Sorry. Uh, quickly. Um, obviously, we've invited. I think uh, the people from South Wales, mm -hmm. but uh, also from the people from England who has hasn't been to Cardiff. It's a good excuse on that day, 17th of April. We are inviting everyone from England. Also, uh, we'll be most welcome to watch that game. Brilliant. Yeah, all right. Allah 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 you all. Thank you very much, guys. We're out of time. Uh, until next week, guys. Don't forget, we've got the UK Championship live. Uh, draw live in the studio next week so tune in uh, and so until next week I guess thank you once again to everybody in Wales for watching and thank you to the Bengal Dragon Boys I've been watching well you've been watching in BFA's on the ball show I've been Mulgarzi until next week guys have a great week Assalamu alaikum